hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you for being here and if you're new here please do not leave without subscribing to my channel my name is Eki I am a business consultant and a business growth enthusiast what I do is that I help aspiring and existing business owners start run and build profitable businesses in today's video I'm going to be sharing the tips that can help you reduce your business cost to accommodate more profit for your business if you don't already know i am a costing and pricing queen that means i'm extremely good at it i have an online course on costing and prices so today i'm going to be sharing the tips that has helped me to reduce my business cost and to increase my profit if you want to learn all of these things and even more then keep watching this video to be sharing 10 tips that can help you reduce your business cost to accommodate more money and more profit for your business tip one take inventory regularly it is very important that as business owners you take inventory of everything that you have in your shop you need to know what you have in your shop if you don't know what you have like in your shop or in your business then it is very easy for your staff to um steal from you it's very easy for you to lose money as well when you take when you take inventory regularly it helps you to know everything that you have in stock so you don't overbuy or underbuy um there was this time that i took inventory of what i had in my um, fashion shop and i realized that i had lots of fabrics sitting in my shop as in it was just there i had fabrics worth more than 500,000 naira. it was just there and i realized that you no know, i'm just keeping down stock i need to i need to sell off this this fabric so yeah you need to take stock of the things that you have in your shop in your business the next point is review business cost and expenses regularly i actually do this every quarter i review my cost like i need to know what's happening i review my cost i review my expenses there are some things we need to take out like before we used to pay for we had so many subscriptions that we used to pay for and i'm like oh no we have to take out some of these things these expenses are getting too much but if you're not even reviewing your expenses and your costs regularly you won't even know where you won't even know like the things that you need to take out you won't even know if there are just some expenses that are not needed at a particular time you can bring that up like later on but at a particular time there are just some expenses that are not needed so you need to um review your business your business costs and expenses regularly as a business owner the next point is ask for discount from regular vendors so as a business owner if you have like, vendors or suppliers that you work with often you can go back to them and ask for for discount and you can only do this if you have kept your record if you if you usually keep your business record and you know that at the end of the month um, the person that sells raw materials for your business for your production you spend 100 200 300 500k in this person's business every month that's a lot that means you're part of this person's business you're part of this person's um this person's goods so you can as well go back to that vendor and re request for a discount so again i'm going to use an example from my fashion business so um i buy a lot of fabrics in fact this my this particular customer i there's no week that i don't go to his shop i buy a lot of fabrics from him and i went back to him and i told him Magachi D. like when i checked my books i realized that i was spending a lot of money at the end of the year i've spent I've spent a lot on this person's business i went back to him and i said Magachi D, please oh this particular thing this is how much you'll be selling to me i can't buy it at this price again i used to buy it at 1200 i want to start selling i want you to start selling it for me for 1000 there and he goes ah madam eki this one you buy it like this or this is that and i said no this is the amount i want to be buying i'm your regular customer do you know how much i spend in your shop i buy practically every of my raw materials from you so you have to give me a discount if not i'll carry my money and go to another person jj and he was like no okay no problem um i can send for you at 1100 naira as against 1200 naira and i was able to save 100 naira can you imagine do you know what 100 naira can do in my business look at the volume i always buy things from him so yes if you 
keep your record and you know the vendors that you always buy things from go back to them and renegotiate your your the amount that they, they sell things to you you will be surprised the money you're going to you're going to be able to save just by doing that remember the goal is to be able to save as much money as possible by reducing your business expenses your business cost and that way you can accommodate more money for your business you can have more money for your business the next point is build up your negotiation skills um, well, this one is very important okay. if you don't know how to price if you don't know how to negotiate they're going to buy you like you go to the market and then some um supplier a is selling at five thousand supplier b is selling at two thousand naira. you need to know how to price you need to know how to negotiate if you want to save money in your business you need to know how to, your negotiation skills have to be top notch you need to check prices with suppliers and vendors just if supplier a tells you um this is the amount to, to sell this product or to sell this particular raw material you better check your prices with other people as well you'll be surprised how much you're going to be able to save if you check prices with different suppliers and vendors so yeah building up your negotiation skill is one particular skill that every business owner should track your business expenses as a business owner you need to know where your money is going to you don't just want to be running your business every day and then you are blind about your um, what's happening in your business in terms of um, your expenses where's your money going to what what are you buying what is consuming more of your money is it for is it your staff is it your raw materials you actually really need to know where your money is so if you want to save money for your business if you want to cut down costs then you need to track your expenses and you can track your expenses by using um there are different apps these days that you can use to track your expenses but i have a detailed um database excel database where i used to track all my expenses so there was this time in my business that i just realized that i was spending a lot of money my expenses were, were increasing day by day so i decided to like really focus and track where my money was going to and more i realized that i was spending a lot of money on foil and I needed to know like why are we spending so much money on fuel what i did was that i came up with a timetable like a timetable for the generator so we had a time when we put on the gen and the time when we put on the gen so everybody has to work within that period of time and then they have to work effectively and efficiently during that period of time so that helped me to save a lot of money on fuel so you have to train your staff like you are the business owner you're the one that knows where it's biting you where it's eating you so you need to actually train your staff let them know that this cost of this thing has increased though we have to make sure that we're, we're they, they cannot be any wastage we have to make sure that at this time this is able to produce this as business owners you need to track your expenses if you want to reduce your business expenses if you want to have more money for your business then you need to track your expenses the next point is seek a free version uh, wherever possible so a free version it can be a free version of an app yes you can seek a free version of an app if you used to pay one thousand one five for subscription monthly for a particular app or for a particular service if there's if, if there's another app that does that same thing if there's another person that will provide that same service to you for a cheaper amount then do that or even free then do that you know look for people to work with that you can partner with or you can collaborate with to save more money for your business if you do this you're going to be saving some money and then the thing you need to know that you need to note is that whatever money you're able to save for your business it, it's your business money it's your money if you're able if you were um, getting a service for 150,000 naira, and then you got someone else that could offer that same service for you for 100,000 100, naira. What this simply means is that you're able to save 50,000 naira. The 50,000 naira that you've saved is your money, it's your business money. You can as well pour it back into the business or you keep the money. It is sharp your business money. So the more money you're able to save for your business, the more profits and the more money you have for you, for you, for you as a business and for you as a business owner, the more cash flow you have for your business. The next tip is advise and train your staff on how to be economical it is what it is like things are expensive the price of raw materials are going up every day so it is very important that 
you let your staff know what they are doing train them on how to be economical like i mentioned earlier i realized that in my in my fashion business the cost of the money i was spending on fuel was just increased my staff that everybody has to work at the time that they put on the gym you cannot be sleeping or not working at a particular time and then the gym will be on hire only the essential skills that you need and outsource the rest basically you don't have to have 20 staff some people think that the size of their workforce um, determines how successful their business is i don't think this is true because you can have just two or three staff working for you as a small business owner and they're very effective at what they do they are very proactive they are they're they are working very well for you you know they're very punctual they do their job well and you can have 20 staff and they're all just playing and they're sleeping they're eating granite when they come to work so you need to know what you're doing as a business owner any way you can cut costs there are some people that you don't even have to like have full time you don't need to employ as full-time employees you know like you can have some people come work for you um part-time they come maybe mondays or wednesdays you know you can just even work with people remotely from their houses they work for you you know depending on the kind of business that you do but you need to make sure that you're hiring just the essential skills outsource the rest or collaborate and work with people um remotely you know this way you're able to save money from hiring a lot of people in your business try to cut down Cost on overhead such as rent, um, electricity bill, um, staff cost, and all of that. If you realize that the space that you're renting, the money is too much, you can as well move to a smaller space. That way, you're able to save cost on rent. You're able to save cost on rent. If you realize that you're spending a lot of money on electricity, find a smarter way to to handle that. So that you can reduce that cost and then you can have more money for your business i advise that you actually have a budget and then you work with that budget if you know that you want to spend fifty thousand naira, for example on electricity every month then you work with that that's your budget for electricity for that month so stick to it very last tip i'm going to be sharing with you is that buy fairly used equipment instead of buying new items or new equipment so yes you can buy tokumbo items you can buy fairly used items there most of them are really really good um this way if you were going to get an equipment for 1.5 million naira, and you see someone that didn't sell it for 500 naira for you um fairly used item you can buy it and just make sure that it's working you know you test it make sure it's working that way can you imagine the money you're able to save if you're supposed to buy something 1.5 and you buy it at 500 000, you're able to save 1 million naira, a whole 1 million naira. yes so you need to make sure that um you don't have to do this anyways but I, I i do this a lot in my business i don't always buy new equipment and it has worked for me you know so if you want to save money in your business you can explore the option of buying fairly used equipment so these are my top 10 tips that can help you as a business owner reduce your business cost and accommodate more money for your business more profit for your business if you've enjoyed watching this video if you've watched this video up to this time I know that you've learned something from it please do not forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up um, leave comment down below um, share this video with your friends your contacts let them learn as well we're all just striving to be better business owners and you don't want to learn alone so please share this video with your friends and your contacts and subscribe please subscribe to support me so i can keep posting beautiful videos just like this thank you once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video